Hello everyone, so today we will going to see AWS CL commands for AWS S3 services. So let's start. So AWS S3 is a stands for AWS Simple Storage Service which provides facility to store any data on cloud and access anywhere on the web. So AWS S3 store data as a, an object within the bucket and bucket is a logical grouping of objects the objects are uh, that can be files or folders and s3 provides three operations on the bucket objects that is read write and delete so we'll see that one by one so we will see here how we can perform these operations using aws commands okay so when we create or write any file on S3 bucket and if you want to read it from S3 bucket then S3 service provides URL that of particular file rather than file so we can use that file URL anywhere on the web applications and we can access that uh, file so following are the features of AWS S3 services the first one is uh, internet accessible storage reason level storage almost unlimited scalability no foil lock locking mechanism support rest and soap apis 99.999 percent of durability of object store 99.99 percent availability of the services and bucket must have unique name so we need to take care of this so bucket name should be universally unique okay so if you use this command aws s3 help so it will show you all the commands related to s3 which we can use so let's try it out so you can see all the documentation related to that s3 commands so we can use that Okay. So once you, so let's see how we can create bucket. So using this command, we can create new bucket. So let's try new bucket. Okay. So my new bucket. So it should be unique name. So I'm adding here so suffix prana one. Okay, so we have created my new bucket prana one bucket and we can use a book command mb to create new bucket and make sure bucket name must be unique in its way on the S3 service. Let's see how to upload a new object on AWS S3 bucket which we created just now. So we can use this command. Before that, uh, first check the files on our server. So you can see there are two files: pgtest.pem and test.pem. Okay, so let's use that command. Okay, to copy this file from uh, our local server, our server to S3. Okay, so. I can use this command cp to copy file so if i want to copy test.pm file i need to mention here on the s3 bucket so make sure you are passing correct bucket name okay so before that uh, i want to delete i want to check uh, if that file already exists on S3 bucket. Yeah. 
we go to S3 and this one is new bucket which we created just now so it is empty so once we execute that command it should move that test.bm file into a new bucket let's try it out so as you can see in message it is uploaded on uh, our S3 bucket so that's very nice from here as well okay so we have uploaded that file using the CLI let's say next so before doing uh, any other commands I, I would like to introduce like a storage classes s3 service provide multiple option to upload any file on bucket via uh, storage classes parameter so below are the options provided by storage classes standard storage class standard is storage class reduce redundancy storage class so there are three types of storage class provided by the rules s3 let's go through one by one standard storage class uh, this is the default storage class which is you uh, which is uses for dynamic websites mobile and game apps cloud applications content distribution and big data analysis so for this purpose we can use standard storage class because it provides high durability availability for frequently accessed data which is required less frequently but required rapid access when needed for this users uh, we can use standard next one is a standard underscore i so standard ia is uh, infrequent access offers high durability and low latency as compared to standard storage which provides low latency low storage price and high performance it makes standard ia storage ideal for long term storage backup and data store for disaster recovery so this is the purpose of a standard ia storage class and next one is a reduce redundancy storage class we also call it as rrs so it is an s3 uh, storage option which provide customer to store non critical reproducible data at low level of redundancy than storage uh, standard storage class so it provides highly available solution for distributing or sharing content that is durably stored and uh, storing thumbnails transported media or other process data that can be easily reproduced okay so for this purpose we can use this reduce a redundancy class for example we can store app logs files on rrs which are not very critical for our organization with low maintenance price as we just need that logs for troubleshooting and uh, analysis purpose only okay so this is the scenario where we can use minimum object size is a uh, for standard ia is uh, 1028 kb as compared to one byte with standard storage and maximum size uh, is 5 terabyte for standard so let's see some s3 commands can use for some additional operations so most of the commands are very similar to linux commands of s3 so for example if you see this then it will list out all the files inside that bucket so these are the files test.pm in our bucket we can list out and as already uh, we have covered this how we can copy a file on the s2 bucket let's copy file uh, using storage class so let's try to copy file uh, using storage class Class is standard underscore IA. Okay, 
So we have moved that file again on uh, S3 bucket with storage class standard IM. Okay. So also we can do some other steps as well like we can move any file from uh, a root server to S3. Okay. So let me show you one example from here. What I'm doing here, I'm on link. I'm, uh, I'm only moving uh, the text file from our from our server to S3. Okay, let me check uh, my server files. There is no text file. Let me create one. Text file. Okay, we have created that. So now we have one text file that should be moved on our S3 bucket by using this command. As we have added here uh, include only .txt file, so only .txt file will be get moved on S3 bucket. So let me change some parameter here. So dot is for the current root directory, and the second parameter is where we need to move that file. So this is the S3 file. And it requests you to upload all the text file of that folder. Okay, I need to change the bit name. Okay, so we have moved that file. Honestly, it is let's verify. It is moved. So only text file is uh, moved here. One more concept is uh, in S3 bucket we can do like synchronization. So S3 service provide to synchronize the files from source uh, source to S3 bucket and vice versa. So we can synchronize the files from S3 to, to local server and local to S3 bucket so let's try this out one of the example for example i'm creating one new file copy this on my server okay i have created this to dot txt Seeing this file, you see all file with our S3 bucket. So it will see all files with our S3 bucket. Okay, so it is uh, it uploaded all the files to S3 bucket. Let me remove that test to file to verify it. So it is removed from our server and now it should be removed from S3 as well. So before that we need to run our synchronization command. So test to uh, dot txt file is here. So we need to run our synchronization command to delete that file as well from uh, S3 server. So copy this command here s3 sync dot for current directory and this is the s3 path and dash dash delete parameter we need to pass here to synchronize the delete things so as it is deleted from local server so it should be deleted from s3 so once we execute this uh, that will delete it from s3 server as well so you can see in the output pgtest.txt and test2.txt test as we delete it. Let's verify. Okay, so it is all deleted from here as well. So 
so how to use ACL option in AWS sync command so we can use this uh, command to use it ACLs so that we can provide permissions so in this example we will provide public read access to the file all file of uh, s3 bucket okay let's change input name and what it will do it will just provide the read permission publicly to all my file of s3 okay so it is permitted now you can verify from here console okay so it is public now lastly you will see how we can delete our bucket so using this command we can delete our bucket but before that uh, before removing the bucket make sure you first remove all files and folders inside that bucket otherwise it will throw errors so before that we need to remove all the files Okay, so by using this command, uh, we have removed all the files from here. So instead of force, uh, I use the recursive so that uh, it will delete all the files inside that. Okay, let's verify it from the console. Yeah, so but it is empty now. Okay. So let's delete our bucket. Which we created earlier. Okay, so our, our bucket is uh, has been deleted from S3. Let's verify it quickly from here. Let me just this. okay so it's deleted so thank you guys hope uh, you understand these things and if you have any questions then just uh, put your comment in the comment box we'll see you in next session thank you